Okay, so let me let me show you what's going on here. Um, here are my colonists. Uh, they all have their own stats. So she's really good at shooting. Uh, you know, so she's like my main guy. She has like background. So she was a military commissioner before she was sent here. Uh, she has a bunch of traits, like she's a depressive, she's got great memory, and she has an interesting chemistry. She's got like age, name, she has like other people she's in relationship with. Um, this one's my doctor, uh, another warrior, and these lot are my workers. This one's my trainer, so she like trains all the dogs to like follow you, and like you can give the dogs command when, commands when they're trained. Uh, let me show you what's going on in the base. Uh, these are their beds. These are some double rooms for the married couples. Uh, you can have like marriages and stuff. These these guys, all of them weren't married before they met each other, but that happened over time. Um, here we have the infirmary. Um, oh yeah, heat is a thing in this game as well, so you need to make sure. You know, you're not freezing, so you gotta have heaters around the place. My electricity is running out currently, which is great. Um, got <clears throat> so in the infirmary, I've put some shelves and told them to just keep the like medical stuff in there. Uh, in this corridor, we have um, shelves full of weapons and like grenades and stuff. Uh, this is like a main bunker place just in case we get attacked so I got a couple traps and like a bunch of sandbags in here we line up here while shooting out there uh, this is a research place so I can learn how to do new stuff uh, this is the workstation slash kitchen slash everything I've just kind of badly bunged it all into one room so you got two stoves stone cutters a butchers a tailor and a drug lab. You can make drugs. <clears throat> this right here is the living room slash game room. So you got games here, uh, chess, poker, um, TV, and a dining table. Uh, all this stuff is to like try and keep the colonists happy. They like sitting around a table and stuff. Um, here are my generators for power four of them. These are batteries so you can store power because you get stuff like storms and solar flares will knock out the power so you need some otherwise nothing will work. This is like weapon making and weapon salvaging so you've got like a smelter so you can get a load of um, stuff. She is currently taking it to the stockpile where I keep all the raw resources like stone and wood and, and that. It's kind of like a garage I guess. And then if you go over here, we have the normal other materials like everything else. So you've got like leather, silks, um, clothes, some components, fuel, and like helmets and stuff in here. And then in here, this part, you can't really see it very well. Let me speed up. Uh, this is the refrigerator. And these things are keeping everything in there frozen. They're vents. Um... And yeah, I keep a stockpile of food in here. It's important that you stockpile, otherwise everyone's going to die. I did this little thing because every time they open the door, it gets a little bit warmer in here. So I did a little thing so it keeps the the air over here, it keeps the air warm over here, and keeps the air cool in here. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool game. Uh, this is my colonists map where we can get everything but there is an even bigger map right here and it's an entire world it's huge bloody huge and you can like these are all other colonies it's, a, it's an offline game so these are all NPCs so you can like trade um, you get little missions like this one item stash um, there's stuff worth 2,300 there, but it's guarded by sleeping mechanoids. Like robots, I guess. I've never met them. Um, there's a prisoner you can save over here. Um, there's a... Oh, there, there's some really expensive 
medical supplies over here, but it's guarded by two turrets and an enemy. Um, yeah, and like you need to prepare for journeys, so like you need like ways to sleep, you need uh, enough food. Like some of these journeys, like from here to here, it takes about a day. So if I was going to like over here, I'd need to pack a food for like three days there, then three days back, and then a little bit extra just in case we get attacked or like someone gets injured, then it will take even longer to get back home. So like, you know, you gotta prepare for shit like that, otherwise a lot of people can die. It's a brutal game, it's a fun game. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. Uh, these are my crop growing places. Um, so here we got heel root, which is the basic medicine stuff. Then we got rice and strawberries growing. Um, and then here we have a little prison for people we like people who attacked us. Um, I don't like killing people because it makes a lot of colonists unhappy. So if we don't kill all of them then I capture them and keep them in here and I can sell them off as like slaves to other people places or just you know fig until I figure out what to do with them just keep them here and then we have a muffalo kennel and these guys help me trade and they're breeding as well so they're good for food so like once they're, they've like had birth, once their babies have grown up, I'm gonna um, kill them, eat them, and or keep them because they're really good for travel. Make lets you carry a hell of a lot more on on long journeys. Uh, there's a lot more, but you know that's the that's the general gist of it. It's a pretty cool game. Oh yeah, and your colonists like talk to each other and stuff. It's pretty cool. They all have needs, so they have like a mood. Um, oh yeah, they all have health, so where is he? Chili. Oh, he's going to feed the prisoner, but... Uh, these are previous wounds that he's got, so like, he has a stab scar on his right shoulder. He has a bad back from when he got attacked. Uh, he's old, so he's going blind, so he has a cataract in both eyes. It's like a layer of skin growing over his eyes, basically. Yeah, it's a fucking interesting game.